<laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. So our last video was making knitted poppies and I wanted to give you a little extra poppy inspiration. So there is an organization called 5000 Poppies. I follow them on Facebook. I have the link in the description below here. You gotta check them out. It's a remembrance project. And what they did is they asked people to knit and crochet these exact same poppies and they took everybody's poppies and they just attached them and they just attached them and attached them and made these huge poppy blankets um, that are used as installations um, in major landmarks all across Europe. Um, it's gorgeous and it's also like extra fun inspiration to think about like what we can do with our knitted flowers um, that it need not only be embellishments which are very fun and cool but you could actually make so many flowers that you just attach them and it becomes a whole blanket how cool would that be um, so definitely go check them out so I thought maybe starting a little bit of Q&A might be a fun way to sort of keep us all together and as you know I love answering comments um, so so let's check out some of the comments this week. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Avita Joseph asks, can you please knit a pattern for bikini? <laughs> It is summertime. That's a great idea. Um, you know, as soon as I find um, a bikini knitwear model that I can um, put it on, then absolutely. That's a great idea. <laughs> Are you guys interested in uh, knitted bikinis? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you would like to be my model, then um, let's connect. Oh, Rowan Giles on um, how to knit um, on circular needles. She says that she really likes my trick on weaving in the ends. And if you haven't seen that one and um, you do knit in the round, definitely check it out for that. It saves you. Um, you don't have to weave in the ends. There's this whole little fun little trick on the second way around. So check that one out. <laughs> and then there's a woman from the Ukraine. She says, you rock, even though I don't understand English, um, that I am very inspirational and um, have positivity. So <laughs> that's very, very sweet. Um, thank you. Thank you for that. That's very cool. Oh, so on how to knit the flower stitch, um, Grace Collins asks, how many stitches to knit for a baby blanket? You know, I get this question a lot, especially on my um, knit stitch patterns, and it just depends on how big you want to make it, you know? Um, a lot of my videos, you know, they teach you what you need to know, but I love it when you guys can like take it further, figure it out, figure out, okay, so this is my yarn, these are my needles, this is, you know, how wide it is if I do this, then what do I need to do to get it to the size that I want? I know you guys can figure it out. So quite often when I get really specific questions about um, taking a pattern and then taking it to the next level, I leave that to you. <laughs> So enjoy. I know you can do it. Oh, and I love this. Okay, so Rayanne four one zero. She was with me at Next Up um, over at YouTube Space in LA, and she helped me uh, film my yarn swift and ball winder video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. And uh, she just let me know her mom wants to go to the yarn store and <laughs> uh, wind up some yarn now. Her mom uh, crochets, so that's very cool. So hello to Rayanne's mom. Oh, Manu Ahmed says, uh, please, can you show me how to knit some flip flops? <laughs> That's a new one. Flip flops, knitting flip flops. Have you guys ever seen that? I don't know. I don't know how you would do that. I mean, I think you might take like an existing flip flop and then do some cute like knitting embellishments on it. I'm not sure if you guys um, have seen this before. Let me know. <laughs> And Janine's craft room um, on the video where I talk about um, how to uh, <laughs> frog with flair. She she says that when she first started learning how to knit that um, picking up the drop stitches, that was her nemesis and uh, that this was a helpful video. So that's great to hear. And thank you so much, Janine. Oh, this is a really good one. I get this a lot. Okay, Elizabeth Quinteros, she says, um, when you say to cast on a multiples, I really don't understand what you mean. And it's so simple. I think maybe that's what trips people up. So if I say to cast on in say multiples of four, what that means is that the pattern 
is divided into stitches of four. So when you cast on, you can cast on as many stitches as you want onto your needle, um, but the pattern requires that you stay within multiples of four. So you could make it really tiny and just cast on, say, maybe eight or 12 stitches, right? Because eight and 12 are divisible by four. Or you could go as long as you want. You could cast on 400. It's divisible by four. Um, so that's all that means. <laughs> I hope that helps um, clear it up for a lot of you guys. Oh, and the different journey had a really great question. When you cast on doing the long tail method, is your first row already done as a knit row? Therefore, if my pattern says to cast on so many stitches, row one, knit all stitches, have I already done the knit stitch row one if I cast on with the long tail method? That's a really great question. And in essence, that first um, cast on is a row, it really is. However, in a pattern, um, after it tells you to cast on and then it says to um, row one to knit, that is to go ahead after you've cast on to go ahead and knit. So when it tells you to cast on, um, that's never counted as a knit row um, and you know, Conversely, at the end, when you're told to bind off, um, usually there's like the last row is say maybe row 33, and then it says bind off. That's the row after that very last row. So that's a really great question. Um, and so, you know, keep them coming, you guys. Um, there are so many of you guys that are, you know, just really brave and knitting up some amazing projects. And um, it's really heartwarming to know that my channel is helping you with it. And I love all of your questions. I mean, we are doing amazing things um, with just yarn and a couple of sticks. <laughs> and, um, and we need a whole lot of guidance um, to create all of these gorgeous things. And um, when you guys actually do like take some of my ideas, um, and my advice and you put them into action and you make something and then you share them with me um, like Instagram or Facebook. Oh my gosh, it makes me so excited. Um, so thank you so much. And I hope you've enjoyed this Q&A. Um, let me know if you have, you know, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like me to maybe have this as part of my regular programming, I think that would be really fun. Um, but I look to you guys um, to let me know if you'd like me to do that or not. Um, so this is the first one and um, I'll do a few more. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's been great hanging out with you guys and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.